Well, thanks for joining me today. We are going to be looking at the Insights Vision Backpack. This is a backpack that you can put your bow in along with all the rest of the gear for your mobile hunt. So stick around and we'll cover everything you need to know about this backpack. Well, first off, I want to thank iSaddleHunt. Check out his YouTube channel. He had a contest. He just hit a thousand subscribers and was doing a giveaway, and I happened to win this awesome backpack. He sent it to me, got it right away, and I'm super geeked to try this thing out and use it this year. I think this pack is going to be a great pack for whether you're mobile hunting or even stand hunting. Uh, you're going to be able to keep your bow in your pack, carry it up the tree with you, and not have to worry about putting it on a rope and banging your sight and everything else. That is one thing I'm looking forward to. So it's going to be really easy to just keep that, that pack, and, pack on and climb. So let's cover some of the stuff. First off, I guess while I've got it on, you've got an adjustable, I don't know, belly strap, whatever you want to call it. Nice big buckle on it that you can do and undo quietly. As well as it has a chest strap here. And the cool thing about this chest strap is it slides the location. So you can change it to what fits you best and tighten that thing up real quick. Give it a good cinch. Other thing is down here on our waist belt here, it's got a really nice pocket. Good for fitting your cell phone in. Fits in there really nice, but there's plenty of room for other stuff in there. Your calls, your release, anything like that. Keeps it really nice and handy right there. <clears throat> so I guess first thing on the back, this thing's got two sets of side straps one of them I'm using right here to hold my camera arm uh, with the, the pan head. The other one I'm using to hold my quiver. I think stock these things come with some little pouches. I didn't get those, um, but I, I think you can get the pouches that come with it. Uh, it's got a set of straps down here on the bottom that you could use if you're overnighting, you're tenting. Uh, your tent could go there, a sleeping bag, whatever. Uh, for me, I've got right now, I've got these my tethered one sticks in here. Really quick, just unclamp those and get those out for using. Then the other thing it's got, which I think I'm going to try and put my Predator platform here, and it has this right here. Uh, and this is just some lightweight foam. It looks like it's like hard plastic, but it is some flexible foam here. Back here, it's got some Molly strapping. So really cool. It's got adjustable straps on that as well. And those buckles are kind of loud, but you, if you put your fingers in there, they can be really quiet. Cool part about this section, well, and it has some Molly webbing down here as well. The cool part about this back section here. So you can use it as what they're calling a shelf. By adjusting these straps, you can adjust it to whatever height you want so that in the tree, this thing becomes a shelf, uh, which is really cool if you, you know, want to set your binoculars down or anything like that, uh, as well as it gives you access to three zippered pouches here and another zipper pouch here. Or if you want to drop this thing completely off, this pocket so it'll hang and this has a wire in it to keep it out which is really cool if you wanted to set your cell phone if you wanted to just set your cell phone there or your binoculars or your rangefinder uh, grunt call all that stuff would fit really nice into here as well as still leaving you access to this pouch and these other pouches which is really cool um, and then it quickly just compresses right back in to fold back up zip this back up Now the bummer part about this um, is that where these straps are located. So in order to get into this main pocket here, you're going to have to undo at least one side of your buckles. For me, I would undo my camera arm at this point. We're going to hang the camera arm on the tree. And then that gives me access to this side, which of course my zippers are over here. So uh, really nice big open area here. Uh, it's got room for a hydration bladder if you wanted to, because it has a port here for your hydration tube. Put your hydration bladder in back here. Uh, but a really nice deep uh, pocket. 
with some really nice uh, zipper tenders here. Really nice heavy duty like Molly webbing. Uh, it's got extra Molly webbing, two sets of extra Molly webbing here. Got a couple of Molly webbing points here as well as this other side. Uh, it also has a couple of D loops here to hang things with. It's got a, one here and one down here on the bottom. And then let's get into the pack itself. And there are four large buckles here. One on the bottom, one on each side, one on the top. And that opens up to a really nice padded lined pocket here that holds your bow. Um, and for me, I have this easy tie here to just hold my bow there. Now, of course, once I take my bow out and it's like this, it's going to be a little heavy to the one side. Um, but really nice part about it is it protects my sight. I can leave my stabilizer on as I'm walking in. I don't have to worry about my sight getting banged around. It protects my strings as we're walking through the woods. Really cool. Um, they have also a set of Molly webbing uh, that normally comes with a strap. That strap was missing, but uh, I put this gear tie in there. And you can adjust it for wherever fits your bow best. So you put it into whichever web you need. And then for me, it's this one right here. And that's holding my bow nice and tight. Let's me leave my stabilizer on. S sight's protected. Fasten that back up. So now let's look on the front, this, the pack side here. So again, it has these straps, chest straps, that slide up and down, which is really cool. So you can adjust that to fit you best. And both, um, both this and the belt strap, totally adjustable. Uh, these are some really nice, thick, padded uh, straps. Comes with a really beefy handle here, uh, really thick. Has some really nice thick padding uh, that's vented along here. That way you've got nice airflow to come down the middle of your back on the sides here. Help keep that comfortable. Use it. Just take that and tuck both sides in. And then those are completely out of your way. Which is that's a really cool feature. Because uh, sometimes you may not be going in far, you don't want to wear those, and they're not going to be dangling all over the place getting caught on stuff. Overall, this pack is really cool. I'm really excited to get it out this season and show you guys how uh, I'm, I'm going to be using it out in the field. Uh, but until then, this is kind of the review on it, and again, I am super geeked. It seems to be a really quality made backpack. Uh, I think it goes for a little, right around 200 bucks online right now um, on their website. I think you can get it a little cheaper on Amazon. Especially with these belt straps on, I really feel like there's not a lot of that weight on my shoulders. You would think this would feel fairly heavy, a camera arm, uh, the climbing sticks, the bow, the quiver. Um, but I really, um, it really feels really comfortable. Uh, super happy with that. And I think getting up the tree is going to be no problem with this. Really excited to be using the Insights Vision Pack this year. Uh, the last couple years I've been using the Next Gen Outfitters Whitetail Caddy, uh, which is a, a good pack. Uh, some similarities to this, but I'm really excited to be able to haul my bow in. The only downfall, uh, not that I think I can sneak up into bow range on a deer, is that your bow is tied to your pack, and obviously a lot of work to get out of that pack um, quickly. But overall, super cool pack, going to be trying that out. Uh, I realize not everyone's, this is not the pack for everybody. Uh, but put it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what pack you're going to be running this time, uh, this year out in the woods. <clears throat> and as always, thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you next time.